like y'all today is the day today is the day my boat has arrived my new silver birch covert 9.3 is officially here we are going to go pick it up in just a couple minutes get it open her up take a look at it and man am i excited for this thing this is my first official whitewater boat uh that is mine if you guys have been following along you'll know that i've been borrowing one from uh, my friends over at roanoke outfitting and adventures uh the crew has been great uh but now is officially time it is time to get my boat the new beater boat for this beater right here oh my god oh my god oh my god oh let's go get this thing y'all Yeah, it does. Wow. It looks so good. y'all so here she is stuck right out of the container picked her up today oh god isn't she pretty so this is her before i'm gonna get to work on her do some outfitting get some uh custom fall line bags in here the beautiful silver birch River Cat Covert 93. Now it's time for me to go ahead and get the River Cat just how I want it. I'll begin by removing the saddle and cutting out the foam to get it so I fit in it how I'm most comfortable. The Covert has a little less initial stability than I'm used to in my longboat, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take about a half inch off the saddle depth. For me, I'll take a Sharpie, mark the saddle with the line I want to use, I'll take a fillet knife, and I'll cut that out and make my rough cuts. Once I'm done with the rough cuts, I'll go ahead and place the saddle back in the river cat to make those finer tune adjustments and those finer cuts. And after hopping in and out a few times, I finally feel that I have it so it fits me how I want it. Once I think I have it where I want it, I'll go ahead and take my rasp. I'll shave the foam to remove some of the rough edges left by the knife and smooth it down for a more finished and cleaner look. Once all that's done, it's time for me to take it out for a test drive. Once I get the River Cat on the river for a test run, what I want to do is work on the trim to make sure I can get it correct so the boat floats and sits in the water how I want it to. To do this, I leave the saddle unglued. That way I can move the boat, the saddle forward or backward until I find that sweet spot. I'll then take the River Cat just upstream to give it a short paddle to make sure I have everything set up just how I like it before I get it glued in place later on.
once the sweet spot is found, it's time for me to use a marker, mark the bottom of the boat so I know where to glue it later. All right, so I just got back, or pulling in here to the house right now from the first test run, did the fit, uh, got her fit, saddle finish carved out to where it needs to be for now. We'll see if it has to be modified uh, come dry suit season. But right now we are good to go. Uh, time to mark it, pull it, and install the pump. Oh, I love this boat. She is a beauty. Now that I have the trim of the boat right where I want it, it's time for me to get my pump installed and get the saddle glued in. Here you can see my process in the lower left hand corner of the screen of how I cut out the bottom of my saddle and installed the pump in the body of the saddle instead of placing it in front or behind the saddle. I fed the wires through the saddles as well and I buried my switch in the center of the saddle to make it easy to get to on the fly and hopefully to give it a good finished look. Once I'm all finished up cleaning up the mess, it's time to test out the pump with a little help from my daughter. Let's see how it works. Are you ready to try this? You ready to test it? Let's go. It's out here on the sidewalk. I'm going to turn the water off and then I'll let you push the button, okay? In three, two, one, go! Here she is, the finished product. The Silver Birch Covert 9.3 River Cat. She has been fully outfitted for now. I'm sure we may do something to her later on down the road, but she is fully done for all my needs. Uh, as you can see, I have my custom fall line canoes. Their custom equipment. These are my bags. Uh, some uh, holy uh, webbing cases here that are hooked to the uh, lines. A couple carabiners. Uh, same thing on the back. These are amazing bags from uh, friends at uh, Fall Line Canoes. Uh, if you want to look here, you can also see inside. I've got these ankle blocks. Uh, these are lifesavers. Uh, they can just be blown up, taken in and out pretty easily. Uh, there's my switch. That's for my pump. It's been installed. The uh, saddle is all done. Took her out for a final test run. Now she's ready for uh, some great paddling. I cannot wait to get out there. Until next time, y'all, let's go find some water.